What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to make pickups more appealing for the player, as objects that they actually can pick up from the world. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, if you are serious about learning and making your first game in Unreal Engine 5, join my Unreal Club. Inside, you will be able to download entire private files from my tutorials, enter private meetings and webinars with industry experts, access exclusive ebooks packed with the best tricks, get powerful asset frameworks to speed up your blueprints, and much more. The link is in the description. With that said, let's continue with the video. Alright, so first of all, let's go inside the content browser, right click and create a new blueprint class. In my case, I'm going to create an actor as it's simply an object placed in the world. And I'm going to name this BP underscore pickup. Now, if in your case, you already have a pickup and you simply want to, you know, apply the things that I'm going to show you in this tutorial to your own pickup, you can, of course, use your own existing blueprint. But just for the first purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to create a new blueprint. So first things first, I'm going to add a static mesh component so we can actually have a model for our pickup. In this case, I'm going to actually take then this cube. I think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to just uh, search it and then simply plug this in as my mesh. And then with the lock, just make this like 0.3. So it's a bit smaller. And now if I compile, save and drag my new pickup blueprint into the world, as you can see, we have this little cube that we should be able to pick up. But you can see the problem right now right imagine that we had a pickup behavior already okay so you could like press e on it and you can interact with it and you can pick it up right now the player doesn't know that this is a pickup right because i mean even if you look at those you know the player will know okay these are like obstacles that can move around so this will be something similar but even if this was like a sword the player might think that it's a prop in the ground. And it's not nothing that, you know, he can interact with. So there's a couple of methods and tricks that we can apply into our pickup blueprint to appeal more to the player, right? To make it actually feel as a thing that we can pick up. And the first one is no other than making the pickup glow. And this is used in a lot of video games. So let's create a new material and call this something as, you know, just glow. And in my case, I'm gonna make it very simple. I'm gonna hold the three uh, key uh, on my keyboard and then press the left mouse button to add a color node and just plug that into the base color. And then of course, I'm gonna make this kind of bluish. And then in order to make it glow, I simply need to get my color and multiply this by a multiply node, right? And this will be the multiplier. So how bright will this be? In my case, I'm gonna make it like 1.5 and plug this into the emissive color. So the emissive color is like the glow output. And now if I go ahead and apply this new material into my, um, you know, pickup, it will seem pretty ugly from the uh, blueprint. But once it's on the ground, as you can see, it is glowing and doing cool stuff. And of course, this is a parameter that you can play around with. You can put it to be even more as two. And I mean, it will be glowing even more as you can see. OK, so this is up to you and you can customize everything as you want. You can also additionally add a fake light in the blueprint. So we can literally add a point light, right? And simply elevate this a bit on the ground and then put this to be like, you know, 1,500, lower the attenuation. And of course, put the color to also match the blue tint, right? And if I do this, we will have an additional light, which is a bit more. And if I go on top of it, it's really, you know, lighting up the scene. But in my case, I like to leave it purely to the material emissiveness. So I'm going to delete this point light. But, you know, you can add whatever you guys want. Okay. I'm going to leave that up to you if you want to do only from the emissive material or also from fake point lights. With that said, let's go into the next trick to make it a bit more appealing. Right now, it kind of already looks like something we can pick up. But there's one key thing that we have been using for video games for years and years, and it's to make the pickups rotate. So if we go back to the pickup blueprint, we can add a specific component, which is the rotating movement component. And this component allows our blueprint to essentially move along one axis with its rotation rate. As you can see, for X, Y, and Z, we have a specific rate that we can, you know, move our um, you know, blueprint in. 
In this case, if we put in the Z to be like 100, and we press play, you can see that he will start to spin. And this is exactly what we want. As you can see, now this is way clearer, right? That we can pick this up. But what if we even add it into like, you know, 20 to the other axis? Well, he will start now to spin in this direction too. And I mean, at the end of the day, this is literally a pickup. I mean, this triggers the player, hey, you can pick me up. <laughs> Quite literally, okay? But let's do one final thing, which is to just make sure that a prompt appears. Now, I have made, you know, a lot of tutorials for UI prompts to pick things up or whatever, but I'm going to make a very simple one right now, okay? Um, I'm going to literally use, uh, use a text render, okay? So I'm going to literally just go ahead and add a new component, which is going to be a text render. This is going to be like the, you know, pickup text itself. And let's put in something as, you know, pickup. Let's make sure that this is on the center and kind of here okay right here i would say and if i now press play you will see that well the text is spinning with the, <laughs> with the cube and also it's not always facing the player and it just doesn't look very good so we're gonna do one last thing which is to just orient this text to always be looking at the player camera so to do this let's go to the event graph and just go to the event tick which runs every frame and every frame we're gonna get the text render component and set the world rotation okay so we are going to be updating the rotation of the text right and of course the text uh rotation will be well the difference in um you know direction so we can use this handy node which is the find look at rotation to get a rotation between two objects in this case the text itself so i can get the world location of this object and then I can also get the camera if I know how to type camera uh, player manager to get the actor location with that said when I press play the text is always as you can see looking at the camera which is exactly what we want maybe we just need to pop this up a bit higher so I'm gonna there you go yes but better and then last but not least, let's just make sure that the text only appears once we get close to the um, object. So by default, the visibility will be false, but I'm gonna add a specific trigger. So we can do type sphere collision, and we can add this uh, trigger. And let's just make, expand the sphere radius to fill in the amount of distance that we want. So let's do like 100. And then let's make sure that the collision preset by default is overlap all dynamic. So it will not stop the player from going in and he would just act as a trigger. And then we have this on component begin overlap, which we can use. And if the other actor is the player, well, it will simply get the text and then set the visibility to be true. And now when I do this, boom, it enables. And we can do exactly the same with the trigger, but on the end overlap. So we do the opposite, right? Just literally copy and paste and disable the new visibility and that's it but you come pick up and I mean clearer it cannot be <laughs> this is so clear for the player that he can pick up this item and of course I mean at the end of the day the text is fully customizable you gonna put it up one more time and I mean you can change the uh, you know font and everything like that you can even use a UI or whatever you want and I recommend to always check here if the other actor entering is the player because imagine that there's an enemy entering this trigger, right? You don't want to enable the text in that uh, place up there. Additionally, you can add like Niagara effects. So for example, from the historic content, you can go to particles and you could get, you know, one of those, like even, you know, steam or smoke. But in this case, I'm gonna lay like this. It's a pretty clear pickup. So everything is working. So that's it guys, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you're looking to learn Unreal Engine 5, join my Unreal Club, where you'll be able to download this project. With that said, bye bye.